Hi. I just wanted to add a, a short message, really. Following on from what we were looking at yesterday with looking at you, the brand, and really wanting to reinforce that you you are now in a position to choose what you want to be. What do you want to be to the world, right? In any moment, you can choose that. And um, it got me thinking about this this principle in psychology that we call, it's quite often called be, do, have. And because the default way that, that we find ourselves thinking a lot of the time is have, do, be. And what, what that tends to look like is that we find ourselves saying, well, if I had that person's brains, that person's money, that person's time, that person's looks, that person's connection, that person's education, if I lived where they live in the world, then, right, then I could do what they do. If I had their list, if I had their, you know, whatever it may be, if I, if I had that, so you need to have it first, that, that's what we think. If I had what they've got, then I could do what they do. And then, I could, then I'll be happy. Okay, so if I had it, then I can do that, and then I will be successful, then I will be a leader that I want to be, then I will be whatever it is, whatever it is that, that you would like to, to have um, have happen. But the you can flip that around into the be, do, have. What be, do, have really says is, well, be it, be it first. So if you want to be a the leader in your field, if you want to be that radical thinker, if you want to be the revolutionary, if you want to be whatever it is that, that you'd like to be, be it. Because there's no point waiting for things to come your way and drop in your lap to make you into that thing. You have to be it first. If you be it now, if you get up in the morning and say, right, now, today... Tuesday, I am now this thing, right? Then you will do what that kind of person does. Or if you say, right, from now, our business is this. And then we will do what that kind of business does, what that kind of organization does, right? What that kind of group does, what that kind of movement does. And then... You will have, the things will come your way according to that, right? That there was a day when I was sitting on a train, 2004, or thereabouts, long train journey, got bored of playing Sudoku, um, finished my book, and thought, oh, what can I do? So I whipped out my lap laptop, I was on my way, did this for three years, this consulting gig, right? And one and a half hours each way on a train. Pulled out my laptop, and I started coding some raw HTML pages. There was no WordPress really at this this point. It wasn't on the mass market. Um, I started writing some tutorials, and in order to share what I knew about web design and what made web pages work, stuff that I'd figured out, stuff that my you know, I, because my mum had taught me all those uh, the, this kind of visual language, and and I put it out there. I put it out there because I chose to be somebody who shares that stuff. I chose to share, I chose to be a teacher, I chose to be a thought leader, if you like. Now, if I'd waited for somebody to come and tell me I was a teacher or a thought leader, I'd still be waiting. And then the same thing happened. I wrote Save the Pixel in 2008, based on the back of this. You know, I, I just put it out there. And so sometimes you've just got to say, fuck it, and put it out there. Just be it. Be it now. Because nobody is going to come and put, pin a badge on you and say, right, now you have permission to do this. The only person that can give you that permission is you. The only person that can give your business or your organization that permission is the business or organization it's, itself. So, you know, I hope that's helpful for you. I hope it's helpful for your clients.